All right, let's do this. Welcome to Monster Review, where we take a look at tech, tech tips, and how-to videos. I found a box, an old box here in the attic. Um, basically, it's a box with uh, my PS2. How about we take a look at what goodies are in this box? It's been a while since um, I've seen any of these things. Um, so let's see what we got. And then um, at the end, we're going to take a look at the PS2. Now, if I remember correctly, the PS2 is broken. Not broken broken, but the switch is broken. So we're going to attempt to repair that. Otherwise, you can't really turn on the PS2. So the first thing we got here is we got the uh, Game Shark Starter Kit for the PlayStation 2, PS1, and original PlayStation. Um, this was from Blockbuster, I believe. My brother bought this. It comes with a remote, an extension cord, and the remote. Um, he didn't pay $19.99. I think he got it for 10 bucks. But this is back when, like, you know, Mad Cats was the brand that you wanted to get. If you wanted a third-party controller, make sure it's Mad Cats. Next thing we got is this. GF. It is a PS2 monitor, LCD monitor. Um, I believe me and my other two brothers, we pooled our money together and bought this together for road trips. However, we didn't really use it that much. And the main reason why we didn't use it is because uh, the size of this thing. This thing was was uh, made for the original PlayStation 2 and we didn't have the original PlayStation 2. We actually had the uh, Play PS2 Slim model. Um, so this thing was a hassle to use. But uh, nonetheless, um, I know my brother said they used it a lot when watching DVDs inside their room. Okay, some of the games we have is Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance, we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkachi, we have Mission Impossible Operation Surma, we have Action Replay for the PSX PS1, I think that's a cheats disc, we have Tony Hawk Underground, we have Jet Li Rise to Honor, Time Crisis 3, Need for Speed Underground 2, we have Wolverine's Revenge, Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, we have Terminator Dawn of Fate, we have Musashi, we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja, Lord of the Rings The Third Age, Lord of the Rings The Return of the King, Sega Superstars, Splinter Cell, Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness, and Ultimate Spider-Man. And then we have two blasters from Mad Cats. And then of course, one PS2 DualShock 2 remote. Unfortunately, these blasters, these guns, they don't work on uh, HD TVs. They work on CRT TV. These are completely useless. The PS2 Slim. So yeah. This is the PS2 Slim. It's not exactly in mint condition, but it's, you know, it's not, well actually, yeah, it's in pretty bad condition. We got some burn marks up there, scratches and whatnot. All right, so Time Crisis is in here. Yeah, the PS2 was the first game console to include a ethernet network cable port. And this button right here, the power button is what I was talking about. I said it doesn't work. So now that we got all the uh, you know the goodies out of the way, let's go ahead and open up this uh, open up this blast from the past and uh, see if we can if we can go ahead and repair it. Now, if you're wondering, the reason why it's broken is uh, my fault. I have no idea what I was doing no idea of what I was planning on doing all I know is I, I I opened it I don't know what the heck I can't remember 
what I hoped to accomplish but I opened it and I was fiddling around with it and I ended up breaking the power button. This is back when I was 16. Now it wasn't completely broken. Uh, we were still able to play games and whatnot. The only downfall is that we had to use that IR remote to turn on the PS2. So I found the switch. Here's a switch. The switch just fell off of the board. So two things I can do is I can just see if I can find a board, a new board. Pretty sure I can. Or I can try and fix this one. All right, forget about trying to fix your broken board. Luckily I have one that just came from Amazon. Brand new board. Paid eight dollars for it with Prime, so yes. Okay, let's just make sure it matches. All right, so for the most part, this board does match. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to pull off the ribbon cable off of this one, like so, and we are going to push it in the new one. Let's go ahead and open it back again. Okay. And then push the board down like that because that's where the power button is going to rest just to give it a test we're going to pull out the uh, power cord here okay ps2 is plugged in standby light is on sweet So the switch does work okay so now let's use a little bit of hot glue on it to get it to stay so it looks like we are going to have to uh, modify this a little bit because it's blocking the new board there's a little plastic piece in here that's blocking the new board so that out just like that nice okay so with a little bit of hot glue just put it there like that now you want to push the board back up against this plastic piece right here while the glue is drying because that's where it's supposed to be if you want you can put glue right there and then push the board back against it. However, you gotta be careful because you don't wanna get glue right here on the switch and you don't wanna get glue on the button. So that's why I just did a dab of glue on the bottom here. I'm just gonna hold it in place. Let the glue dry. Okay, I think the glue is workable now. Or at least we can work with it. So now that that's in place, we can go ahead and we can continue putting our board through the cover so you can make sure that the switch makes it through. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so everything went back together like it should. So the only thing left to do now is to screw it back on. Screw the bottom cover back on. Don't over tighten because this is plastic and the screws are metal. So you do not want to over tighten. You're gonna end up breaking the plastic. the button is seated properly okay I can feel it so it is seated properly that's good so now last thing to do is just plug it in and give it one more test so we see the red light and if, what happens if we hit the button and it comes on just like it did before I broke it now the only thing to do now is to set it up and play and relive glory days
still one of the best games I've ever played. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down work also. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.